Hello, police. I saw a suspicious man by opposite the block. Someone just got robbed. Police? Someone just got hit. No, oh, is this the police? I think I just saw a murder. A splash of pain and a simple writing on the wall. The mark of the loan shark causes distress to many. On today's Razor TV's Eyewitness, police are on the hunt for leads to solve two loan shark harassment cases. So let's check it out. Have you seen these men? The police need their help with the investigations of two loan shark cases. Well, this neighborhood along Lorong Wantok Payo was the very area where one of the two loan shark harassment cases took place late last year. So Rachel, can you tell us more about this man and what happened? We believe this person can help us in our investigation. He's believed to be a teenager, has dark complexion, and was last seen wearing a dark colored round neck t-shirt and was carrying a red haversack. The other harassment case took place at a Haogang Avenue 5 block in October. These two men are needed to assist with investigations. Both have dark complexions and are believed to be in their early 20s. One was last seen in a blue t-shirt, Mabuda shorts and a floral jacket, while the other man was in a white t-shirt with print, light coloured jeans and a black baseball cap. If you have any information on them, please call the police hotline at 1-800-255-0000. Your tip-off will be confidential. Thousands of victims are harassed by loan sharks, but not all of the victims have borrowed money. The illegal money lenders target innocent neighbours. Sometimes, a new resident moves into a flat that was previously occupied by a debtor. We are outside a unit at Topaya Lorong 7, Block 13. As you can see, the walls and the doors have been vandalised and black paint was also splashed from the top floor all the way down, staining the outer walls at this block. This is believed to be the work of loan shark runners. You feel concerned about your own unit? Very scared la, very because scared. I got three children and mm. scared the along come. The police are working very hard to solve the problem, but as long as people continue to borrow, the problem will persist. First time offenders convicted of helping loan sharks or harassing borrowers may be fined between $20,000 to $200,000 or jail up to two years or both. While first-time offenders found guilty of harassing or intimidating borrowers may be fined between $4,000 to $40,000 or jail up to 3 years or both. Caning is mandatory for all repeat offenders. If you do have information on them, do call the hotline 1-800-255-0000. Do your part to help the police and the community bring loan sharks to justice.